What's up? This is the day in the life of a flight attendant. <laughs> Yo, what's up? I'm gonna show you guys an insight of what it's like to work as a flight attendant for a week, how busy it can be, how tired you can be. Today is one of many great days where I get to PAX. PAXing means I do not operate, I get to just work over to Australia by sitting in the plane. This week we will be going on a trip to San Fran through Sydney. That is a six day trip. Right now I have a lot of energy, it is day one and I haven't worked in about two weeks and that's one of the many reasons why it's a great job. You also get to see the world. If you're wondering, I made it to the airport on time. Usually after a Tasman flight you'll get picked up with the crew, but today I was just by myself. Um, this guy took a whole hour to get there. Most of the time they're on time. But I don't know, for some reason this guy was late today. Welcome to my room. I didn't do much, but tired, man. Right. This is a hotel that I've been staying at for the last three years. Now, we for an hour tonight, <laughs> have six hours sleep, then go gym in the morning. And I like to do this routine, reason being, because great start to the day, I like to tire myself out before a flight. Doing, on average, 13 hour, 14 hour flights during the day, you're not really tired, so it's hard to get to sleep. When we have our breaks, we get to go sleep in the bunks that are either up or down, depending on what aircraft you're on. $26. So I'm, so I got tonight. There we go, still looks the same. Iron Man! I once tailored my pants, you're not allowed to do that at the shop. Just to show off my calves. My lower body's like half Islander, half African. It's like Islander all the way up to like below my hips, then from there to here, African. Bring in mind that these are Kiwi iconic. We've grown up when I was in kindergarten, it was very fresh butter, bread. Done! Is it done? Feels good. Thing about being a flight attendant, if you forget something, you forgot it for a week. So I forgot toothpaste, so I can't brush my teeth for a week. I'm kidding, I'll buy one in three days' time. It's raining. You've got to be relentless. The kind of person. I slept in just a little bit. 15, okay, 30 minutes. 9.35. I just got an hour to gym. Beast mode. <laughs> I really wanted to go get a nice coffee and breakfast. Should I skip my workout this morning? No. Let's go. So I got my lazy ass out of the hotel, went to the gym, did some cardio and mucked around on the monkey bars. Then I had to go get breakfast because I didn't have anything to eat. So I went to the shopping mall, got me a banana, got me some oats, and then this is struggle oats. This is what I was having quite a lot. But the ingredients are oats, uh, hot water, protein that I used to bring and take around with me, um, some water from the tap to put with the protein, shake it like a salt shaker, and then you pour it like a pepper shaker. You cut the banana, and there you go. That's struggle oats. Most hotels have a cup and a teaspoon for hot drink, um, but that was my bowl and my breakfast in every <laughs> country. <laughs> so I just finished having breakfast. I am heading out to work in about 15 minutes. It cost me about $4, and that will last me all those oats for the rest of the trip. We'll check back in in about 17 hours. It has been 18 hours since I last vlogged. I am now in San Francisco. In the air for about 12 hours 35 today. Good flight, great crew, good people, good attitude. Couldn't sleep on the plane though. And I did eat chocolate. <sighs> there are these new lid balls and they're just so good. And I love dark chocolate. I haven't been on the internet yet. Uh, I try not to roam, it's too expensive. Normally as a flight attendant you get in, you go to sleep. <laughs> If you're brand new or like you haven't been to the, a country before, you usually like just go straight out. But I have no plans. I'm a big basketball, big, big basketball fan. The NBA Finals is on tomorrow. There it is! In San Francisco, Golden State Warriors. I leave tomorrow. Hey, there's a bullshit! And also, I'm currently reading Gary Vee's Crushing It, his ebook. I'm gonna sleep for about two hours. 
I've kind of got a lot of work to do. Boring, I know, boring. I'm so tired. I don't wanna. Oh, uh, also, this chick who was on my flight, and she wasn't nice to me, her bag went on another flight. Ooh, karma. Don't mess with me, or else I'll send your bag elsewhere. Six and a half hours later. I just wanted to show you guys how I wash my clothes. <laughs> yep. It's mainly because I hate having sticky clothes. This is my gym clothes that I worked out with the other morning. I washed them here in the shower, and then I just let them dry for about a day in the room. By the time we leave tomorrow, they should be dry. Ready to pack my bag. Struggle's real, bruh. Can I watch you while you vlog? <laughs> Can I say what up face? We're doing long distance, so I slept past what I told you guys I was going to sleep to. And I also ate cookies on the plane, so don't even believe me. <laughs> what did you eat? Did you? Okay. The pretzel ones? Yeah. How many? Because I ate some and I'll tell you how much I ate if you tell me that you ate. Maybe three? I ate four. You're so bad. Anyway guys, what we're going to do now is I might go get a feed. I'm going to go get a coffee. There's a Starbucks next door. While I was getting some coffee, I noticed that it was nearly sunset, so I decided to go on a spontaneous trip. We're definitely going to go over the bridge, right? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Cool. Beautiful. You can come with me if you want and take my photos. No. <laughs> oh, nearly on the bridge. You're so lucky you get to see this all the time. Bye. See you later. Oh. oh. <laughs> it has been a long time since I've ventured out, and we are in San right now. About to catch. Well, it is golden hour. We're at the Golden Gate Bridge, and I just thought about it. I was like, you know what? I need to get out, and it's sunset. Yo, we made it. We are at the Golden Gate Bridge. This place here is called Spence Battery. Um, shout out to Jenny who actually took a photo here about two weeks ago, and I asked her where it is about an hour ago, and now I'm here. I've never been to this side of the bridge as well. I'm gonna go down there. And I found this little thing here. Hello? It's me. Nope, no one's in here. And. Whoa! Okay, since I got no friends and we're running out of time to set up the tripod, down here, we got like 15 minutes left. I think I'm just going a bit too far, but if we want to get that perfect shot, <laughs> we got to get a bit closer. Um, don't do this at home, kids. Do it in San Fran, baby. Now here's a quick insight of how I take my photos sometimes. Yo! Hey, it fell off! Good. This is... Um, but my battery's nearly dead. I ordered an Uber, but it said it was about nine minutes away. And I'm like in the middle of nowhere, it's night time. Uh, some car's not working, my data's not working. And this battery's nearly flat too, so let's see if we can blow over. Uh, I always put myself in these dumbass situations. So my dumbass got picked up nine minutes later. Um, I got dropped off at Bevmo, and um, that's a liquor store where they have like liquors that we don't have in New Zealand, and they're also very, very cheap. Oh God. So I went into, well, I got out of my Uber first, went to the shop, I told my Uber driver to wait. I said, wait here, and then we'll go to my next destination. I come back at the shop, and then... Later, Paul. <laughs> day four. Yo, so guys, we are at day whatever. Finished a cool boy video up last night. Uploaded it um, about 9 p.m. New Zealand time, and it's currently trending number 40 on YouTube, so... And then I didn't get to sleep until about 4 a.m. this morning. Kind of lost right now. And we're gonna make me a coffee. So, let's figure out how this works. Press open. I'm sure you have to open this, right? But it's got a sharp thing there, so will it? <gasps> Whoa! Bro. <coughs> this is my room. Welcome to paradise. Oh, all this money! It's one dollars. Gym, Whole Foods, and then we are flying back out to Sydney. 
planned Saturday and I'm just planning my day out. I'm gonna go get some content at Vivid Sydney. Other than that, see you guys in there. I got an hour before, like, start getting ready. Whole foods. Let's go! Whole foods is like this. If you haven't been to America before, it's like a, a organic supermarket, like real healthy buzz. Very expensive. I usually just go to the, um, the protein section and get me a few protein bars as snacks for my flight. And then I go to the hot meals area and then I just like, just get all the meats and veggies and put them all in a box and that cost me like 20 bucks for that lump sum. So yeah, tastes good though. Tastes really, really good. Love it, love it. Just don't love the price. Yo, we've got 15 minutes till I have to start getting ready. So as a flight attendant, when you are about to take off, you get a wake up call. That's an hour before pickup. What I like to do just before a flight is, I actually like to like mellow out a bit. I'm watching Black Clover, just started it, anime. So I'll have this to eat, my post-workout meal from Whole Foods, which is mainly protein and a bit of carbs because I'm trying to shut it down because I always eat bad. A quick insight to what it's like to be a flight attendant. From what I do, everyone does different things. Easy flight home, people sleep on these flights. It's a night flight, um, makes a big difference. Um, an hour longer than the way over. And also I'll try to record what it's like to sleep in the crew rest. Time to open this up and get started. I'll see you guys again in Sydney. Woo! Shut up now. Shut up, Terrell. So this is the 747 aircraft. At the back by the toilets is where our crew rest is, so don't go up there. <laughs> um, this is where we sleep, up here. Um, on the left is where we hang all our clothes before we go to sleep. We don't sleep naked. We just take off all our jackets and ties. Um, these are all the bunk beds. I believe there's eight of them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Could be nine, I'm not too sure. Well, you just, if you count it by yourself, you get it. Um, all these lights are normally turned off. They're just on right now, so you can make sure you see where you're going, and then when it's time for break, everyone turns them off. This is how long they are. I'm six feet tall, so they're about six foot one, six foot two. Um, yeah, this is how I get in before I, anyway. <clears throat> this is the temperature. <laughs> this, is, this is the lights, and uh, they control the lights, obviously. And this is my favorite bunk. I love this bunk. Yeah, get two blankets. I always bring my own pillowcase. Um, and it's really, really cold in here. A lot of girls sleep with about three blankets because it's so cold. Um, just currently finished doing service for about three hours. Now we have about two hours off. So all together we're going to have eight hours off, which is great. And then it'll be three hours for the next service. I'm the first one in the box. You know, I've got to get that rest. I've got to be energized. I'm gonna be doing a lot of things in the city today, so I've got to make sure we are rested. Now this is the part of the trip where I'm just, f I'm just so done because I didn't sleep that whole flight. You know, I've got to get that rest. Mission failed. It wasn't too hard of a flight. It was just you don't get your sleep right. It's a hard job. <laughs> Like, I don't even feel like vlogging right now, but because I told myself in the beginning I would just stick to it. Gonna get some rest, I'll sleep for about five hours. I think we're gonna, yeah, I'm just gonna go sleep. Before I went to sleep, I reached out on Instagram to see if anyone wanted to go to Vivid tonight with me because I had no friends. And I was shooting a video, um, one person <laughs> replied, uh, and that was my friend Lewis Pierre, who I now talk to, and it's been two years since. Um, we shot this video together, but uh, yeah, we randomly linked up on Instagram. And we created some magic later that night. Oh, oh man, that sounded so gay. <laughs> oh. We are currently at Vivid Sydney. I'm with my boy, Louis Piao, who's down there. You'll see him shortly. Obviously, I just got changed. We went to H&M. I got a new outfit because my other outfit was this. On to the B-roll. <laughs>
I just take a photo of your box? Thanks. a new waking up technique. You put your feet on the ground and then you open your eyes when you're standing. It works. Then I worked out. Um, I went for a run and um, this little kid tried to compete with me. Then I was just editing for like an hour. Now I'm heading to breakfast, local breakfast spot, and then from there I'm getting massage. After I got my happy ending, uh, I mean, just after I finished my massage, I waited about two hours and then I got picked up and then I flew back home. By this time I was so tired, I forgot to vlog everything, but this is basically what a life as a long haul flight attendant from New Zealand is like um, and everyone's different sometimes I was social and sometimes I partied and sometimes I stayed in and sometimes I adventured by myself just like Snoop Dogg said every trip is different um, you're always meeting new people doing different things doing new things and just as we say in New Zealand later bow.